Hello all, welcome to the program, Know Your Government by Neo IAS, an initiative where a government scheme is picked up on, elaborated on its content and is followed by a question which is in line with the UPSC pattern. Today we will look into a scheme which is known as the National Digital Library of India, National Digital Library of India. The Ministry of Human Resources and Development is the ministry which is sponsoring this initiative. Now, under its national mission on education through information and communication technology is where this program has been put up into. The MHRD ministry through this initiative is trying to promote the idea of e-learnings to a larger section of people across our country and also ensuring that with the leverage of technology, the knowledge has been translated to the people who are aspiring that for. To develop a framework of virtual repository of learning resources with a single window search facility is the key objective of this initiative. When a person wants to access some knowledge about a particular area or a subject, what he needs to do is to go on this portal, search for the same using a single window facility and the knowledge will be easily accessible to him. So, with that much ease, ensuring that the knowledge transformation is happening in our nation is one of the key idea of promotion of this e-learning initiative by the government. NDL is designed to hold content of different languages and provides interface support for leading Indian languages. So, the contents are hosted in different languages so that even if you know those people who are not well versed in English, they wanted to access some kind of a knowledge through the portal that is precisely possible. It is being arranged to provide support for all academic levels. So, understand that for all academic levels including researchers, lifelong learners for different disciplines and all popular form of access device and differently able learners. So, under this initiative, the material which has been put into this one is involving materials from both school levels to college levels and even to postgraduate levels and even for those people who are aspiring to learn throughout their life, the relevant materials are put across in this platform. And this uh, portal is hosting materials from different areas or different spheres so that the vast knowledge accumulation is also possible through this. We will see that in detail. Educational materials are available for users ranging from primary to postgraduate level and even for lifelong learners the relevant materials are available in this portal. Repository holds contents from multiple subjects domains like technology, science, humanities, agriculture, etc. So, it is not restricted to only these four domains. The content in this one is from many vast different areas is the key idea which we need to note. More than 60 types of learning resources are available. That is the more through which you know, somebody would acquire that learning. It can be either through a video lecture or through an audio lecture or through a manuscript etc. So, more than 60 types of different learning resources are available in this platform and items are available in more than 70 languages. So, different languages, different modes, whichever is the convenient mode of knowledge acquisition for a person that he can use that is one of the key idea of this one. Repository integrates content from different institutional repositories. So, how it actually working is different institutions across our nation, they would have published upon an e-learning content in particular areas. So, this portal basically gets integrated to all these one, all these different e-learning links and portals so that this one would act as a comprehensive data with e-learning resources into it is the idea of national digital library or integrating contents from different institutional repositories is happening in national digital library. It is being developed to help students to prepare for entrance and competitive examination to enable people to learn and prepare from best practices from all over the world. 
even for the relevant learnings to clear competitive examinations that is also included in the national digital library. It has been developed at Indian Institute of Technology Kharagpur or IIT Kharagpur is the institution wherein which the NDL has been hosted upon or, or is being developed. Now, how the a person who wants to access information could gather that is it, the informations are put in different forms like books, articles, videos, audios, thesis, manuscripts, question paper, solutions to the question paper etc. So, different modes of learning pedagogy is involved in the national digital library so that the knowledge transformation has been happening in a very quick and structured manner. It provides a single window search facility to access digital contents currently exist in India as well as other digital sources under a single umbrella. So, this is acting as a comprehensive repository mechanism where people can go and get the informations. NDL has been designed to benefit all kinds of users. So, the knowledge which has been put up in this one is not only for students, but the benefits can be availed even for students, teachers, researchers, librarians, professionals, differently able users. So, that is again one of the key points so that those some of the citizens who are differently able to cater their needs as well, this portal has been well structured and integrated so that they can also gather relevant knowledge and information. Information can be personalized based on the education level, choice of language, difficulty level, media of content etc. Such other factors while other digital libraries may not include all these choices. So, literally acting as a customized or a personalized learning mechanism or providing a learning avenue through the e-learning mode is the idea of National Digital Library of India. This is like a customized service provided in a 24 bar 7 integrated environment to suit a user's requirement and will be like a one-stop shop for all the needs. So, through this one, a user would have the option to choose the language which he wants to learn, the material which he wants to learn, the mode of learning in which he needs to adopt so that he can get the knowledge transfer happened in a very easy way and in a customized way which he wants up to. With this background, we will see a question based on this. With reference to National Digital Library of India, which of the statements given below is or are correct? Statement 1. Educational materials are available for users ranging from primary level to postgraduate level. Yes, we have seen that this host the materials of different educational needs even from primary level to the postgraduate level. So, which is making the first statement correct. Subject domain of agriculture and science and technology is excluded in this for specific reasons. No, we have seen that this portal holds materials of different vast areas and agriculture and science and technology part is also involved in this one. So, which is making the first statement correct and second statement wrong. So, the right answer for this one is option A1 only. Thank you so much.